Hey what's going on guys, today I'm going to show you how to make some custom thumbnails And um, the programs used in this tutorial today are going to be Photoshop That's it, just one one program, that's Photoshop By the way if you want this fonts preset pack So basically you can test out your fonts um, in this Photoshop template then just go to the description below and you can download the PSD file which is Photoshop document I think anyway, I know it's Photoshop so yeah don't worry about that and um, there might be a PNG for it as well but you don't really need that you can just save it as a PNG anyway, it's not that hard so yeah that's just basically where you can edit this uh, this font here, so where it says font you can just edit what the font is and then ch uh, just um, try out the fonts basically so I thought I might as well give you that scenes scenes that I'm gonna be making a, th a thumbnail tutorial which is gonna use at least one font so these are basic thumbnails these really aren't my minecraft thumbnails just some basic thumbnails for like say if you're making a video I don't know how to make thumbnails or just I don't know um how to go on YouTube basically those basic thumbnails not like a minecraft character and then I don't know it's just a basic thumbnail basically <laughs> basic basically uh, best you ever. so I'm just gonna load Photoshop here Photoshop CC 2015 I can't be bothered to load up uh, load this up normally but whatever so once you load photoshop for the first or just for any time you probably used it at least once before you just want to go to file new and if you are then you'll probably be more ahead than uh, if you were new to photoshop in this tutorial and then set the width and the height to 1920 by 1080 like that and you can save it as a preset i'll just call it thumbnails since i'm ready there we go thumbnails and just call it custom thumbnail tutorial there we go and I just have the background transparent and the resolution 72 make sure you don't have the RGB color to grayscale if you do then as as the name is it's just gonna be all gray so yeah but once you, what you want to do next is go to the gradient but uh, the paint bucket bucket tool just click the uh, left click on it or right click on it and then select the gradient bucket tool and then you just click in the middle somewhere just click here uh so you have to drag it hold shift so it makes it align uh, it basically locks it to those angles if you don't then you can just move it around freely but you want a straight line to make it a bit better and then you can just actually yeah let go but before you do that you might want to uh, change your colors here i just bet a complete white and then a light grey like that make it a tiny bit lighter there we go so just get about in the middle and then hold shift and let go and there we go and we can move that and actually make it bigger like that there we go so it's just got a basic gradient right there that's how you do that and what I'm gonna get next is before I do the text I'm gonna go uh, go to file go to um where is it i can never find this uh okay i i, I think they might have got rid of it it's, oh there we go no, i couldn't see it then place embedded just go on that and then this is uh, what the folder would be like templates and fonts um and then you can well, you can i i'm gonna go to my where is it i'm trying to think right now okay it's in videos I'm very, I'm very organised, but then it still gets very confusing with all these folders. I think it was in files. Nope, maybe not. Videos. Nope. Uh, where were they actually? Thumbnails, files. All right, there we go. They're in here. So I'm just going to get the explosion PNG. If you want this, then there'll be a download in the description, or you can just search up the explosion PNG or something. Just explosion. If it's not transparent, so it doesn't have the checkerboard pattern around it when you're viewing it, don't worry. You can still place it. And if it's not transparent, then what you want to do is go to the magic wand tool. If it's just like a box, you can do it by uh, using the la uh, pol polygonal lasso tool. But for this, uh, because it's a lot more complicated, I'm just going to click this magic wand tool. And then it's very hard. But I think, no, you can't do that. 
I don't know, it's because it's very hard. There you go. Just click on the outside and then you can do delete. Uh, yeah, make sure you're on the layer. There you go. I don't need to do that. Um, so, yeah. The thing I, next thing I'm going to get is... Well, actually, I'll just drag this first. Just put it at the bottom right corner. And make sure you hold shift when you're making it bigger or the quality will decrease. It still looks like bad quality, but then you press enter and it's all fine. Or HD, it depends what um, it was when you... It's, it depends what the file the, the file size is, basically. So, um, I think it's in properties. And then, nope, maybe it's not on here. No, it's not on here, but when you get it in Google Chrome or whatever you use, it should say what the, in um, Google, it should say what the size is, so yeah, you can see that. Um, I don't think this is 9020 by 1080 but I'm not sure. If it is, then that's the best, because this is 9020 by 1080 so it just fits on. As, it, as I said, these are basic thumbnails, so don't think I'm going to get really advanced, but I am going to do a few effects. So I'll just make this a bit smaller because that's actually quite a bit big. Now I'm just going to double click on it. Don't click, double click on the name or you'll just try and rename it. You've got to double click there. And then you want to well, first go to gradient overlay. And then this won't be here for you. So you just, normally it would be on color harmony as one. I think no it's not actually. Um, I'm not sure what it is but it should just come up with some not like that but what you can do basically is just get a grey here and then a white just do that I know I actually want to get back to my old one but I don't know where they were but whatever so yeah just you can do that and then set the opacity not the blend mode to overlay the opacity to about 50 or 25 it makes it quite a lot lighter but then it sometimes gives it a nice effect Oh, shall I add that? I think I will. Yeah, I think I have that on. Inner glow. Yeah, you can do that. Basically, gets rid of that. Well, it doesn't get rid of it. You just it just adds an inner glow. But I'm not gonna have that. Oh, actually, I'm doing a gradient overlay. I'll just have it off. But basically, it's like that. That looks very black on the outside. So I'm gonna enable that. Rather than boss, you can do that. Stroke looks a bit weird to me, to be honest. Drop shadow, you can do this as well. Set the angle to 90, blend mode 100, uh, I mean multiply and then opacity 100, or 25 actually. Yeah, there we go, I'll do that. A distance to 2, spread to 0, and the size to 3. And the, um, the uh, drop shadow itself is going to be just a dark grey, not completely black, just a dark grey. And then you can see it in there, and on the outside it just gets a bit darker. So then I'm just going to go to OK, click it, and then I'm going to go to File once again, place Embedded. I'm not sure what Embedded and um, Linked is, so I don't know what the difference is. But it's just basically placed in the file. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to get this hand cursor. You can also search up or download the files in the description. So hand cursor, just go ahead and pla uh, yeah, place. And then if it's transparent, or not transparent then it's very easy with this you just go to the hand cursor hold shift click on the white bit and the black bit and then I think it's no nope, I need to right click it and then the rasterize layer and now I just need to select inverse is it yes well I don't know but you just basically get rid of the outside but you just want to have it transparent basically um, so yeah, I've got that now, so I'm just going to edit it, if I can, I want that one, thank you, I'll just, ugh, I hate it when that happens, I'll just drag it at an angle, make it a bit smaller, it's very big, and there we go, we're going to have a lot of space for the text, so don't worry, uh, I'll just move it a bit more, make it a bit bigger, and also make it an angle again, and then make it smaller, see a quality decrease then. I, I don't know how to get it back because Control Z isn't working. But there you go, so it's just that. And then double click it. And then mm, enable a drop shadow. I don't really notice it on here, but this should come up. If it's a different thing, then it most likely come up. Oh, actually, I'll look at the bottom. Is it coming up? 
you'll see it a bit I'm just gonna enable it might as well the outer glow just have this at the darkish gray about in the middle of gray and white or black and white just have it like that it's not really noticeable but oh yeah. okay I was clicking on the wrong bit you can have that but I'm not going to but that's an option that's optional <coughs> so yeah I'm just gonna set the opacity back to 100 mess around with it you can have it in normal but then it does that multiply actually multiply I think that's yeah that's better than overlay actually I actually like multiply I'm gonna do that on the other bit explosion we're back on here actually I didn't even have a gradient overlay that doesn't matter then actually I'll, I'll try it out anyway Radiant overlay and then set this to multiply. Yeah, I actually think that makes it a bit darker what it does. So there we go, I'll just have that on. I'll go back to the hand cursor. Shoke might work for this because drop shadow didn't really, or well, not much anyway. So Shoke, I'll just enable that. And it gives it a 3D effect down here, which is very nice in my opinion. That doesn't really do anything. Uh, Bevan boss uh, no I don't think I'll have that actually I'll set it to black oh it is already at black okay no I don't think I'll have that because it looks actually a bit white instead of black which is kind of weird to me but there we go okay I'll just click to okay and then I'll just put that on an angle again put it over here the next thing I'm going to do is go once again to file and hopefully last time file place embedded and then get the YouTube logo which should also be in the description all the files used for this video will be in the description in this one download so yeah don't worry about that um it's in front of the pan cursor but to get that underneath it's it's not that hard you just click on it and drag it under the mouse cursor if it's got effects don't put it here because it won't work you have to put it right underneath where the line comes up as you can see when I drag it underneath there's a black line and now it basically goes whiter and then you can do that I should make this a bit smaller if I even can there we go that's really it and then you want to right click the hand cursor and then go to copy layer style and then go to the YouTube logo and do paste layer style that doesn't really fit the stroke but yeah I'm just gonna get rid of it it doesn't really make it look that good that I'll set this to and just probably overloaded with drop shadow yeah it is so I'm gonna set this to 50 I used to think it was okay at 100 but now I'm just think that is actually a bit much I'm actually looking better without it oh well I'm just gonna keep it for the purpose of this tutorial the Bevan and the boss you can do that it gives it another drop shadow I think it's like an inner glow yeah I mean in a shadow sorry and then set this to yeah it's already a black but then so at the top it doesn't look like it because it's white I don't really get why that is but whatever and then the um, settings for that all the effects for that should be default go back onto the logo it does kind of look a bit wide for being under the hand cursor so this will decrease quality but it's just the YouTube logo so it won't really do much and then just hold shift this time and there we go you can just do that might put it oh no I won't I'll just put it around the hand cursor but in the middle so we go now we're gonna move on to the, uh, the font and the text so the font I like which should also be in the uh, the um, folder that you download in the description is Pixmisa regular or oh, that's any selected the wrong one there so it's Pixamitsa uh, regular now I'm just going to put this as um, custom you can't really see it right now so I'm just going to change this to a black for now I actually need to select all of it and then do black up there there we go it's a bit wide so I'm just going to double click on the uh, the T there and then change this to 150 basically I add this at 500 when I was doing the font um, preset pack glass 350 I think that looks like a good size to me also very handy oh it's 350 but there we go I'm just gonna move it down a bit using the arrow keys actually you need to uh, go out of this 
click on it and then I can do it. So basically it's got those transform controls. If it hasn't then you just need to check this box up here and then it will work. Now I'll just get this to about there. Uh, I kind of like the M on this but then sometimes I like it a bit squared but well it's up to you what font you use. Well I said you can mess around with the um you can mess around with the font template and if you want this if you want the end of this um psd file then you can download that which is also in the folder oh, i'm not sure what it's called i haven't made it yet but yeah so i'm just gonna hold shift click oh actually cl click on the youtube logo not actually here i mean click on the the layer and then shift click on the hand curse that will select both of them or you can do control because it's right above the other one just minimize that for now and then what I can do is I can merge them but what I'm going to do is send them to a group and then name this um actually I'll move explosion into there as well and whoops I kind of messed up a bit there we go I'll just move it underneath there move this a bit there we go and then name this group um files or well, what should I do I should do um I don't know, I'll just call it files for now. It doesn't really matter what they're called, you can always rename them in the pack. And then I'm just gonna um, can, click on the custom. Again, not on the actual word, I mean on here, the layer. If I say click on it, usually I mean click on the layer, but I'll say, and then do control C, and then do control V and drag it down. Okay, that didn't work. So just click on it, do control J, and then it'll make a copy of it. And then you can drag it down using the arrow keys. You can do that for a 3D effect, but for black it doesn't really look. It doesn't really do anything. Sorry if you heard that. I don't know what that was. <laughs> now I'm just going to drag this down. It does. They do both say custom, but we're going to change it. And then change the custom to custom thumbnail and set that size, making it a different, a different. Um, what do you call it? A different file, a different layer, so I can change the the font size without having without it affecting the custom layer. So I can edit this freely and then set this to about 250. I think that's about right. I'm gonna add some colours here soon. It's not just gonna be all black, which in my opinion doesn't really look that good. That's the same font, but it actually looks a bit different because it's smaller. I'll do another Control J and then. This time I'm not going to use the arrow keys, I'll just drag it down like this. Hopefully without moving it. Just move, dragging it down, now I moved it a bit but it doesn't really matter. And then change this to custom thumbnail. Custom thumbnail tutorial. There you go, custom thumbnail tutorial that is. And then I could just change the font size but I'm just going to drag it up. And to make it a bit a bit bigger actually, bigger than the tutorial and about the same as the custom. That's behind there, so I'm just gonna move it up. I'm gonna move all of these up actually. Above the font uh, the files. There we go, so custom. I'm gonna double click on that and then go to gradient overlay and then set this to normal. There we go, it won't come up with multiply for some reason. But there we go. Overly, no, that doesn't even work. So I'll just set this to normal and then change the colours to whatever you want. I'm just gonna have it as hmm, what should I have it as? I think I'll have it as a dark grey and then a light grey. No, actually, that's a bit dark. I'll make it a tiny bit lighter. It's got I don't know why it's like that to be honest. Whatever. So I'm just gonna change this again, change it to white. And then change this to black. It does look a bit weird like that. But I'll just move them around. If I can even do this right, I'm just messing everything up. Don't know why it's doing that. Change this to what? Uh, to black. And then make one here. Double click it. And then drag it there. It's messed up again. I don't know why it's doing. I don't know why it's doing this. It just keeps making new ones. I really don't know why it's doing that. So I'll just edit this to, um, was it white? No, it was black. And then that's white. That actually looks bad as well. After all that, it doesn't even look that good. And it's just got that in the middle. I don't know what's going on right now. 
Uh, I might as well just let one here and then change it round I guess. Please don't make new ones, thank you. Finally it doesn't make any new ones. I won't make, have this completely white, I'll make it a bit darker. Actually blue. And have it, have it like that, there we go, I finally got one. <laughs> it's about time. And then I'm going to add a drop shadow. Keep this to 2, to 0 and to 3. Opacity, I'm just going to change this to 100. There we go, I think that looks good. Gives it a bit of a stroke, but it's actually a drop shadow. You can have stroke, but I think that's a bit too much. Bevel and Boss, you can have that. I really like that, it makes it look really 3D, which is very good. Inner Glow, you can have that. It doesn't really do much though, but I'll keep it anyway. Inner Shadow, I'll have that on and uh, mess around with this. So it's 200, it's probably a bit much. Yeah, it's actually quite a lot. 50. There we go, I think that looks quite good. I'm just going to go on OK, and you do have to do all the same things for the other, other two text files. What you can do is right click again and go to copy layer style, and then click on, actually I think you can right click on both, hold shift again, paste layer style, yep you can do that, there we go. Just minimise these because it, it's very... It's, it's got a lot of effects and I'll move this into a group as well name this text there we go I'll just maximize this and then I'll change thumbnail I'll actually move these to the right thing so there we go custom thumbnail tutorial to the right places so I don't get really confused oops hold shift again and then have it I'll just set, set it to that you can right click, uh, shift and right, shift, yeah, shift click and then right click and then rasterize type, do that and then double click it and then change, oh, wrong one actually, change the thumbnail, double click on it, change the gradient overlay, just change this, don't change anything else. I'm just going to have a nice yellow, why not? I think that's very nice. I think the drop shadow and just the black is a bit much. Oops, so yeah, I'm gonna change that in a bit. But it's a bit darker. It's actually a big difference. I'll make it a bit different. Make it a bit more orange. And I'll just, can I use the arrow keys? No, I can't. I just messed it up. Alright. There we go. I think that's okay. Move this up a bit, just messing around here. Well, I'll add it just then. There we go, I'll have it as that. Okay, change the drop shadow. I might not even need it on to be honest, but I'm gonna have it on. Um, I think it's. What one is it? That's one of them, but that's not really the black though. Actually, I think it is. So I'm just gonna change this to 50. Change the bevel and the boss. Uh, yeah, change that and uh, check it. And then just do OK, go to Tutorial, and I'm just going to shift click on all of them, or just shift, uh, click on this and then shift to the bottom one, and that gets them all, make them all bigger. I'm going to change the blue because I think it's actually a very big change, I don't really like the look of it at the moment. I might change the font again, uh, change the blue, change this to a bit lighter. Have this a bit darker. Sorry if I go a bit quiet, it's because I'm concentrating. Oh, there we go, I actually made this a bit darker. This is a bit, a bit too light. There we go, have it as that. And now I'm just going to right click, copy layer style. Right click on the tutorial and paste layer style. You can also clear it, which I haven't actually used before. But yeah, you can do that. I'm just going to make these a bit smaller because they kind of go over this. And it looks a bit off. But I can't get I can't get them both. All of them, I mean. There we go, I'll just make these a bit smaller. And I can do this because it's just text, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really change it much. Oh, I, I still think that's a bit light though. I'm going to change it again because it's very light. Change the blue, make it a bit darker. There you go, I think that's a bit better. Only a slight change, but it worked. Copy layer style, tutorial, paste layer style. 
There we go, so that's, I think that's it. Background actually looks a bit, it doesn't really look much of a gradient to be honest, so I'm going to delete the background for now. And then add a new layer, put it underneath everything, go back to the gradient tool, and then select white to grey again. I'll just change this, I think I made it a bit too light. Actually, I think I made it a bit too dark, I'm not sure. There we go, that looks a bit off actually. There we go, I'll just keep it as that. And then you can just click on the layer and then go to filter. And if you're wondering how I got the magic bullet photo looks, that's just an install you can download it. I won't include that, you only have to search it up, so it's not much. Now go to render, clouds, and oh, sorry, I forgot to make a new layer. Go to filter, go to render, clouds, it does look a bit off, but then just set this to overlay. And then double click on it and change the opacity to about 25 make a gradient overlay over it overlay over it uh, set this to white and then set this to a dark gray or a light gray and go out of this and you can't really see the clouds but well actually no I'm going to take the gradient overlay off because that just completely yeah it just completely blocks it out there we go I just added some clouds there as an effect it's not, I wasn't actually adding it for like a cloud effect, just so it gives the background a slight effect. And then I'm just going to click on these again. There we go. And it actually looks a bit off, I'm just going to try and make it. There we go, like it looks originally. And there we go, so I'm just going to drag this, put this at an angle. And actually I'm going to have it under the files. I think it might look a bit better. Um, I'm going to move this down or it's in the way. I need to move all these in. Move them into the text. And there we go. I'm actually going to go to the files and then explosion. I'm actually going to drag that out. You can't see it right now, but that's because I dragged it too far underneath. And um, I can't actually, I don't know which looks better. I think that looks a bit better. Drag that over the text and that's... Oh, actually, I don't know whether I'm going to have it like that. I don't think I will. Actually, it's because it's got... No, I'm actually really confused right now. So, explosion, that shouldn't be in the text. There we go. I keep messing up. And then drag it under the text. There we go. That's what I meant to do. And I still don't think the text looks a bit... No, I don't think it looks good enough. So, I'm just going to change the colours once again. Yes, again. Here's gradient overlay. This time, I'm just going to set it as white. Instead of having it as blue, I think blue looks good. Well, just quickly, actually, I'm going to try out a green. See what that looks like. Probably won't really look that good, though. Nah, not really. Set this to white. This to a light grey. It's kind of like the background, but then it also looks very clean and it looks very nice. Right click once again, copy layer style, tutorial, and then paste layer style. And there we go. I think. I think that looks quite nice actually. So that's the thumbnail tutorial. If you found this helpful, then please be sure to smash that like button and tell me if this helped you or not. And actually, just quickly, I'm gonna go to the explosion. Well, it wasn't even that, sorry. I mean, the um, here it is the YouTube, and then I'm just gonna take off the Bevan and Boss because I think it looks a bit weird like that to be honest. The top I don't really like it. So you just drop shadow quickly. Sorry about this, so I said it was the end but no it's not really. I changed that actually, I don't know why it did that. Actually it changed all of it. Oh I'll just I'll just keep it like this for now. So yeah, if you found this helpful please be sure to smash that like button. Tell me if I fa if you if you found it helpful. And yeah, so if you want all the files, like I said, they'll be in the description. And I'll see you next time. Bye.